Hello, and welcome to the Charlottesville UVA Albemarle Regional Training Program on the VOG Management Tool. This is the first part in a series of videos developed in an effort to jointly train our regional partners in the use of VOG. In this video, we will cover the following topics. First, a brief background and overview of VOG. Next, how to log in for the first time, how to set up your account, and some basic navigation features within VOG. VOG is a cloud-based management tool developed by Graywall Software in New Haven, Connecticut. Graywall was founded by a small group of software engineers who previously worked for General Electric. These same software engineers were the brains behind GE's Service Central Platform, the largest enterprise work social platform in use in the corporate world. VOG was developed as a broad-reaching management tool and is currently used by government, airports, hospitals, and institutes of higher education. It provides solutions for emergency management, daily operations, business continuity, and special event management. The idea is to provide a shared platform to support a common operating picture. VOG is an easy-to-use internet-based platform, so the first step to using it is having your account created by an administrator from your organization. Once your account is created, follow the link sent in your email or navigate your browser to www.voc.com slash to be brought to this login screen. Your standard login will be your officially issued email address. If you use the link in your email, you will be guided through the account creation process. If you went to the page separate from the email link, log in using your email address and then click the forgot password link under the next button. Also note that VOG works best with Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, or Apple Safari browsers. If you're using Internet Explorer, you may encounter some minor performance issues. Your first time logging into VOG, you will be asked to change your password. Next, you will be asked to provide some additional information. On the first page, you will be asked to verify your login information, including your primary email address. Once you've verified your email address, Click the Next button. The next step in editing your profile is entering your personal information. Your first and last names should already be populated by the administrator creating your account. Please edit your display name to also include your department or organization in parentheses behind your name. For example, Lucian Mira, UVA OSCP, or David Puckett, ACFR. It is important to use both your first and last names, as well as your department. Please also add a headshot for your avatar. Many users will choose to use their identification badge picture for this purpose. This helps identify you to other users quickly and easily. You may also add in your areas of expertise if desired. The OG is used by well over 500 users across the University of Virginia, City of Charlottesville, and Albemarle County. During events, responders utilize VOG as a means of communicating effectively with each other in a virtual environment. In order to make sure we better identify ourselves, it is important to make sure you use your full name, add a headshot for your avatar, and use the display name format, first name, last name, parentheses, department. This is best done initially when setting up your profile, but can always be done by going to your profile and clicking Edit Profile. The last step of editing your profile is adding your contact information. VOG allows the use of multiple notification methods. By default, you will receive email notifications as they are pushed out by the administrators. Notifications may be of the creation of a new event or may be passing important information along during an event. At minimum, you should add your cell phone number. Different organizations may have different notification requirements so check with your administrator on whether your organization utilizes other methods of notification. After you've set up your profile, you will be brought back to the home screen. Anytime you press the home button on the dark gray ribbon at the top of the screen, you will be taken back to this landing page. On the home screen, you can see all of the rooms you have access to. To join a room, click the title of the room or the button which says join. We'll go into more detail on rooms in the next video. 
Also on the home screen, you can view and edit your profile by clicking your name in the top left corner. Other items of note on the left sidebar include quick links to any tasks you've been assigned or any notifications you may be subscribed to. We will detail these in the next video. Lastly, you can change your account settings such as notification preferences or your password by hovering over your avatar in the upper right corner of the screen and clicking account settings. You can also find a link to VOG help and support on this menu as well. By now, you should be able to log in and understand the basic navigation of the VOG management tool. We've reviewed a brief background of VOG, how to log in and get started, and how to navigate on the home screen. In the next video, we will cover how to operate during an event, including how to navigate within a room, assign and perform tasks, and use other features of this powerful system. We hope this video has been helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments or need additional VOG support, please email the Charlottesville UVA Albemarle County Regional VOG Working Group at voc at virginia.edu. Thank you.